back to N90X Extreme Nescular Training. I'm coming to you live from the offices of Alterkov in Krakow, Poland to show you, demonstrate to you how to set up a simple SSL VPN tunnel from anywhere in the world to your Netscaler, whether it be Netscaler Classic, Netscaler MPX, or Netscaler VPX. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do this on the VPX. Let's take a look. This is my infrastructure here. I've got my Zen server running, I've got a Netscaler appliance running here uh, on my virtual infrastructure. I'm going to pop open my browser and get into the Netscaler configuration. Once I get into my configuration, what you want to do is go to Access Gateway. Access Gateway. Now notice the, the blue exclamation point. Just right click on that and enable the Access Gateway features. Really simple. I'm going to run the Access Gateway Wizard, and I'm going to show you in less than five minutes we're going to have an SSL VPN tunnel up to allow for secure remote access to your Netscaler and all of your infrastructure behind that. So we're simply going to follow the wizard. First step here is to enter in a virtual server. I'll make it 130. You can name it anything you want. This is just for your own reference. Um, give it an IP address 130. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to use a test certificate. Because I, uh, but if you have your own certificates, you're going to use them here, upload them to the box, and also don't forget, you may need to upload an intermediate cert if your certificate has been signed by intermediate cert. So in this case, I'm just going to use a test certificate and click the box that says use test certificate for connections to published apps. Uh, it's warning you or letting you know that you need to have uh, this test certificate installed on your local client device when wherever you're going to use so download access client test certificate I can do that later I'll do that later click next uh, configure DNS authentication for this purpose I'm going to use a local authentication which means a username and a password that I create right now will be saved on the Netscaler and that's what I'll use to authenticate uh, when I connect to my SSL VPN however what's great about this is if you have a uh, LDAP server you can click on LDAP, enter in your information for your LDAP server, and utilize all of the user account information that's already in your Active Directory uh, structure. You can also use Radius or any of these other authentication types. So in my case, I said I'll use local. I'll just make a simple username and password. What's interesting about this is redirect to uh, secure web access. But if you, for instance, type in HTTP instead of HTTPS by selecting redirect, this, this wizard will create a downed HTTP web server so that if you try to connect to it, it's going to redirect you to HTTPS. Also for allow. Um, what I'm saying here is that by default, I want to allow everything. Uh, normally, you'd want to go with deny, and you create a whitelist to allow access to various things in the back end. Click Next. We'll select Use the Access Gateway Plugin, and that will allow us to try to use the plugin. If the plugin doesn't work, you can fall back to clientless access only. Okay. Allow the cookie. I don't have any share points that I want to use right now. Click Next, and click. Uh, notice that bidirectional TCP compression has been enabled. So uh, through this SSL, VPN tunnel before the data is encrypted, it'll be compressed and that's bi directional. So I'm finished, I'll exit that. Uh, I can take a look, I've got an access gateway, SSL VPN, it's up. And if you look into, uh, there's, my, there's my certificate and 130. If you're doing this at home and you have, for instance, a Linksys router, you're going to need to uh, put into your application and gaming section port forwarding. So something like I have here, I've got uh, for HTTPS, which is uh, SSL, 443, port 443, uh, I want to redirect those requests, that traffic, to my internal network of .130, which I have here. 
okay and I enabled it so you want to make sure you have access to your infrastructure so that's good to go now that we've configured our SSL VPN on the Netscaler access gateway let's go ahead and connect to it and let's see how it, how it performs so I'm on a Windows 7 uh, workstation I'll open up my browser and put in the uh, endpoint public endpoint of my SSL VPN because there's a certificate issue uh, it's giving me a warning. I'm going to continue. And now the Access Gateway login window pops open. Enter my user ID and password that I created for local authentication and login. Now, the first time you do this, if you don't have the plugin, it's going to ask you to download the plugin. You need to go ahead and download the plugin and install it. Uh, here it's talking about certificates. Um, it's, I'm going to continue anyways because, again, I'm using a test certificate for a different. URL than what uh, I actually am using as my public endpoint. And you'll see that uh, we have a little warning triangle there. But I'm now connected to my SSL VPN. And if I open up, uh, if I open up, let's say, .200, which is my uh, Netscaler, there we go. I'm able to connect to my Netscaler and uh, administer the Netscaler back on my Windows 7 virtual machine and I have my SSL VPN tunnel still connected and I just want you to see how it's working now. So from this endpoint, uh, the user endpoint, I fire up the SSL VPN uh, basically by pointing to the public endpoint of my Netscaler access gateway. I connect and I'm now able to access my infrastructure with inside. inside. So here at dot 200 is my Netscaler, so you can see I'm able to get in there. While I'm here, I want to show you, remember the SSL VPN wizard. It asks us if we want to do HTTP redirect. Well, here it is. Here's HTTP redirect. What that means is the wizard will create a downed load balancing virtual server. You see that it's down. And what happens is any HTTP traffic that goes to, in this case, dot 130, will be redirected to HTTPS 130, which is the SSL VPN endpoint here on our, uh, our access gateway uh, virtual server 130 HTTP HTTPS is the protocol. Okay, uh, so that's you know accessing a uh, web-based appliance through the SSL VPN. But let's say uh, I want to connect to uh, RDP. So I have a I have a server. Uh, dot 141, which is a Windows 2003 standard edition server. I'm able to connect to it using RDP through the SSL VPN tunnel. Pop my password. Here, I, here is my Windows 2003 standard edition server that I'm accessing via RDP through the SSL VPN tunnel. So I'm able to access my entire infrastructure as if I was physically on the LAN. So I hope this has been helpful for you. You can see that in less than five minutes, we took a bare bones Netscaler and turned it into a high speed, high performance SSL VPN with compression and encryption. Giving us access not only to our Netscaler, but to all of our applications or all of our infrastructure behind the Netscaler. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you on another edition of N90X.